Hi, it's Mike Lee here. I'm at the stadium in Swansea. It's the big sleepover where 70 or 80 people are sleeping over in aid of homeless people and Matt's Cafe. Let's go along and talk to some of the people here and see what's happening. Come on. So my name is Mal Pope, uh, this is the Swansea.com Stadium. Tonight's a big night for the big uh, sleep out. We're raising money for the Swansea Foundation but also for Matt's House as well, which is an incredible organisation based on Swansea High Street, looking after people who, who don't have a home. So everybody's sleeping here tonight, uh, people who talked about it being a lifestyle choice to sleep out. Well tonight for these people it is, but it's a great choice because they've been sponsored, they're raising money. I think at the moment we're over £20,000 towards the charity and it's... Uh, it's a wonderful thing. It just shows the amount of love in this city for people who are less fortunate, for the lost lambs, the way the shepherd's going out looking for the lost lambs. And you do a lot of work locally for charity. Yeah, I, 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 it's my home. This is my town. This is my town. So it's hard to say no. Uh, I, and so uh, I, it's a very busy period coming up, particularly now because... Obviously, everybody's mind's thinking about Christmas, so I've been involved in a thing called the Everyone Deserves a Christmas Appeal, which is packing hampers, again, for less fortunate families, and probably this year, more than ever, uh, they're going to need the support to have a, have a really good Christmas to show that they are loved. So that's a really exciting project, new record, uh, 100 carol services between now and Christmas Eve, but yeah, looking forward to it, because it shows the love in the city. Good evening, my name is Gavin Hurd. This is my friend Jamie and Leanne. Uh, we're here tonight in support of the homeless, obviously. Um, this is quite a personal thing for Jamie, who I'm sure will explain further later on. Um, we just want to bring awareness to people um, of the troubles and the conditions in which the homeless people suffer every day. And we hope to raise enough money that they get somewhere to go, have a nice meal, and hopefully have something warm to drink and keep themselves toasty. Hi. Um, so I've, I've done this once before. Um, I came thinking I was going to donate to somebody else, but Matthew's house changed my mind massively. The things they do is just great. Um, I've sponsored them plenty of times before. I've also made them 100 turkey baguettes one Christmas, just after my house had burned down. So I was homeless then, but obviously we had somewhere to go, but I still went out of the way and made 100 baguettes for Matthew's house. Um, so yeah, I've just been close to them ever since, always raising for them. This kit, this popped up, it's been, I think it's been three years since the last one. Came up and first thing I was going to do, rope these two in with me. Hopefully rope more in, but guess not. And yeah. Hello. Um, we're here tonight. It's cold and it's raining and it's absolutely miserable. But we are here for one night, whereas the homeless people do this every single night. So hopefully we can make, raise more awareness and get some sponsorships in and for a good cause. So I'm Paul, I'm Head of Foundation at Swansea City Football Club. Um, we're the, the club's charitable arm. Uh, we have a mission to use the power of the Swans um, to uh, as a force for positive change. Um, so that's what this event is all about is working in partnership with a, a, a fantastic local charity, uh, Matthew's House, to raise funds for uh, to raise the awareness of homelessness and to tackle some of the causes of it. Um, and we know that it will cha will change people's lives. Receptive when it comes to people picking up on a person's frame of mind. I know that when I come to Matthew's House, there will always be someone. I can talk to and I will not be judged. Someone who will listen to me, the shoulder to literally cry on me, who will mop up my tears.
my name is Sheila. I'm a volunteer at Matthew's House. I've come here tonight to do the sleep out in support of Matthew's House. It gives me just the tiniest, tiniest taste of what it would be like to be homeless on the streets at night. But I'm lucky I can go home in the morning and have a bath and get into a nice clean bed. Our homeless guests can't do that. And I want to do what I can to support them. Hello, my name is Carolyn Harris and I'm the Member of Parliament for Swansea East and we're here tonight at the, the stadium, the football stadium in Swansea where there are some wonderful people who are sleeping out on the concourse of the stadium so they can understand what it's like for people who have to sleep on the streets because life has not dealt them a hand that has allowed them to have the safety of a home and security and it's wet and it's cold and it's going to be a long night but I think it's an education for people to start to understand just how much poverty can affect somebody's life, how much addiction could aff affect somebody's life, and how every one of us is only three paydays away from homelessness. That's a very painful truth. The, 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 the past Home Secretary would have you believe that homelessness is a, is a choice. It's not a choice. Nobody wants to be out in the rain and the cold, waiting on the elements to see if they'll survive the night, hoping that nobody attacks them during the night, hoping that no nobody urinates on them during the night, because that's the truth. When people haven't got much, it's very hard to understand what it's like for people like us who, on a normal working day or a normal day, will get up and have a cup of tea, have a breakfast, have a bath, get dressed in clean clothes. That's not the kind of thing that people on the streets are able to have. And poverty is a very real experience for far too many. And not just street homelessness, but people living in homes are experiencing really severe poverty. One of the things that we've tried to do in Swansea, with the Swans, is actually put together um, a project called Everyone Deserves, which gives a Christmas hamper to families who otherwise would not have food on their table at Christmas. It started off in my living room seven years ago with 100 hampers, and we now touch 2,000 hampers every year, year on year. That's a lot of people that we bring a bit of joy to, and we can only do that because we have wonderful support from the people of Swansea, we have wonderful support from the Swans and the Ospreys, and we have wonderful support from all the volunteers who make sure we can deliver a little bit of joy into otherwise quite painful lives. So if you feel you can help, please donate. But if you pass a, a, a person on the street, remember, they're not there from choice. They're there because life has not been kind to them. So be kind to someone and show them that you care. Thank you. One, seven.